Hi, this is Chong Kim, and welcome to Ruby Chess version 3. Okay, so in the previous version, I had a lot of issues with it. Uh, it was hard to read, and there were a lot of performance problems. Even though it took 30 seconds to do 200 games, that's, uh, that seems too slow for me. And part of the reason why is because there are too many uh, references to string and, um, and regular expression parsing as well as uh, looping through um, searching for pieces. So instead, I'm gonna, I came up with a, uh, a different idea. So I'm going to implement it, so let's get started. So first thing, I'll just remove the, the spec and the code. So we start, okay, so start with the spec. Okay, so we start off uh, as normal, and see. So for one thing, um, there were too many uh, functions um, uh, with trying to get the position. So instead, I'm going to put it as as uh, an attribute of the position. So e4 should be a dash. E2, that's where a pawn should be. Uh, D1 is where the white queen is. And D2, actually not D2, um, D8 is where the black queen is, so lowercase q. And we have other properties like the turn, so that should be uh, white's turn. Um, castling should be king, queen, king, Queen. Um, then you have en passant and half move, full move. It's one. Okay, so this is a a good start. Um, okay. All right. Let's create the file. Lib chest rb class position. Okay. So uh, no method e4. So let's start with e4. So instead of uh, writing 64 methods, what I'm going to do is um, create a module chess helper. We're going to need, need this later on anyway. And in here, I'll create indices, which is going to be um, 0 through 63. I put it here instead of in the class because uh, I want to put I want to reference things that don't actually refer to the position. Uh, itself. Um, so this is the number of squares starting from zero. Okay, so, um, so uh, we have to include chess helper and uh, go from the indices and we're going to define method and it, we're going to convert this to a square and the, and what it will do is referred to the board position. So the board position at the index. All right. So obviously this is going to fail because uh, uh, to SQL is undefined. Uh, to square, I mean. Um, okay. So let's write a little test for that, and that's actually going to be tied in with the fixed num. So, oops. Um, it's going to be part of fixed num. So if I say um, to square, um, it expects zero to square to be the eight, eight square. One square should be the b8, and eight two square should be a7. Okay, save. All right, and let's make it. So let's put it up here. Okay, so class fix num and define two square. And that will be starting with the A. We're going to add the X part of it. Um, okay. And turn that into a character. 
And then for the y part, we subtract it from the character 8, um, which is self divided by 8, turn that into a character, and then take the whole thing and turn it into a symbol. Okay, so far so good. So the next error uh, is that we don't have board defined. So let's create board. So as part of the initialize, we have the board, which we're going to set to um, rook, knight, bishop, queen, king, bishop, knight, rook. And we're going to do that for the, um, let's see, these are the black pieces. And we need um, eight dashes. Okay, and we need eight pawns. Eight pawns. Okay, rook, knight, bishop, queen, king, bishop, knight, rook. I said that we were going to avoid using strings. So right now, this is a list of strings. But this is just on the initializer. Uh, inside, we're going to convert all of these things into a symbol. So now it's a list of symbols. And once we have the symbols, uh, actually with index, okay, so we have the piece and we have the index. And we'll have an extra data structure called pieces. So pieces is going to be uh, a hash. So uh, pieces will we'll take a piece and give uh, where where it's located. So by default, if it doesn't already exist, it'll be a set, an empty set. Okay, so we're going to add to the set the index. Okay, so let's see. All right, so this should take care of setting up the pieces. Um, all right, so let's see. Uh, now undefined method turn. This is great. So we're past that point, so we could do turn um, let's see, what do we have? Turn, castle, castling, en passant, half move, and full move. And we'll set it right here. So turn is white, uh, castling is the set, um, king, queen, king, Queen, en passant is nil, half move zero, and full move is one. Okay, everything passes, and we're off to the next. So instead of trying to figure out what the next item should be, um, most logical item, I'll just start with the uh, the most important part, which is the um, uh, move piece, and we'll work backwards from here. So this will look like, um, uh, well, we'll set up a position. So position with a rook on e4, I'll say mp as a move piece. So move piece from e4 to e2. Let's do it without the space here. Okay, and that should end up with, as a position where the rook is now on e2. Okay, and uh, well, actually, let's just stay up to here. And uh, unidentified, undefined uh, local variable or method e4. That's because of this e4. Uh, this is just a, um, it's not tied to the position object, which is fine because that's not uh, what I intended. It's, it's going to be part of. Uh, Chess helper. So you, you should be. So when we've referred to e4, it'll be the index position at e4. So that would be um, coordinates, and I would say uh, a8 to equal zero. Let's see b8 to equal one, and uh, a7 to equal eight. Okay, and. Okay, so that should give us, all right, now from here, we actually do the same thing as this. So uh, instead, 
what I'll do is I'll just copy this and put it right there. And this returns just the index, not the uh, piece at the index. And for this, it's just a pretty simple file, I mean, pretty simple function, so I'll just do it in one line. Actually, this is pretty simple too, so uh, I'll just make this at one line as well. Okay. Hmm. This thing is bouncing up and down. Okay. All right, so let's see. All right. Uh, oh, it still doesn't have access to it because inside here I need to include chess helper. And okay, we're off to the next error, undefined bracket. So um, before I do that, I'm just going to eyeball this and see that uh, um, just write all the ones that we need. So we, we know we need uh, for the class method bracket right here. Um, we also have a comparison that needs to be done. So we also need this. And let me see. All right, so um, I'll write both of them first. So for bracket, uh, so if I do, if I set up a position with a rook on e4, then I expect the e4 square to have the rook. And anywhere else, so I'll just pick e2, and that should just be an empty space. As for the comparison, uh, I just want to say the position with a rook on e4 should be equal to another position with a rook on e4. Um, all right. Oh, another part of this is that if I, I could also put in other options. So I, I want to say the turn is black. So I could go here and say what's the uh, black property, uh, not black, turn then it's uh, going to be black. All right, okay, undefined method. Okay, so we need to create that. So self bracket, and that takes in um, some options. Okay, and this is really just a, uh, just a convenience function to create the, uh, uh, to call the constructor. Okay wrong number of arguments and now we can just fix this up okay so this will take some options and um, so okay I'll start with these first um, okay so for these ops of turn and defaults to white get the ops of castling and default it to that list. Then ops of opposant, ops of half move, and this is the ops of full move. Okay, all right. So we need to actually set set this up depending on whether or not we have keys that have uh, one character. So the, the test is if we take the ops and um, let me see any, and we have a key value where the key size is equal to one. If it is, then we go into this part of the code, something will to be put in later. Um, otherwise, this part. So I'll just indent this part and put in end right here. Okay. Okay. So, let's see. Actually, I'm just going to put a hash right here because this end is not. Okay, there it is. Uh, yeah, it wasn't lining up right. Okay, so for this one, um, uh, what I'm going to do is set up the board to be all empty. So we have 64 empty slots then we're going to go through each of the the ops so ops um, each um, 
actually we can just see select and we'll we'll just do it this way each and it'll have a key value the key in this case is going to be the um, the piece and uh, the value we'll just keep it as a V so um, uh, we need to first set up the pieces so pieces is going to start off being an empty set and um, okay so okay what we want to do is move the pieces actually this is this would be a list of indexes okay so this will really be uh, v is equal to the array unless it's already an array okay and that way we can just go through each one of these so uh, and that will be the index so we have the piece and we have the index and we what we, what we want to do is we want to be able to put a um, in the index the piece so this is basically what we want to do um, where this is uh, a generalized form of uh, setting the piece on the board okay this this method doesn't exist so we're going to create it all right undefined method uh, bracket equal so in bracket equal okay that takes in a uh, an index and a piece, and what it'll do is if okay if the entry doesn't exist, it'll set it up with a empty set. Then it'll add the index. For that piece so piece is now also in this location that's what it's basically saying um, okay and we also want to put it on the board so board index is equal to piece now we're able to do that okay all right so this looks good uh, okay so no implicit conversion of symbol to integer uh, and 52 52 Okay, so it, it, it thinks that this is a symbol. Okay. Piece. Okay. Actually, let's put a little debugger in here. All right, so let's take a look at what uh, IDX is. Okay, so that's should be fine and let's see what um, P is that that's also fine so let's see okay so that's fine and that's fine and this should be fine as well huh so that that seemed to have worked Okay, so this it doesn't seem to be any problems with with that code. It didn't look like there was. So um, let me just get rid of the debugger, save it. So this way I can read the the code again. Uh, it's an initialize. Initialize twenty three. All right, twenty three. Okay, self IDX. Okay. Hmm. All right. Okay. So no implicit conversion of symbol to integer. Oh, the reason why is because um, I know what the I, I think I know what the problem is. 
yeah the problem is is that I'm going through all of the options I have to say um, uh, only where it's um, I say next if the options um, see actually not options if P that size is equal to one okay so we'll have options that look like this which is fine but we'll also have options that look like this and that's not fine so we have to make sure that um, we just skip the ones that are actually next if it's not equal to one okay all right so that's all right we're past that point now um, for this I okay what I don't like about this is the output looks really messy so what I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create uh, I'm gonna override inspect and so it'll take the the board which is um, okay each slice so break it up into eight slices and map uh, okay map it so that okay you have the row so for each row we're going to join it and we're going to G sub looking for dashes dashes right there and replace it with the number of uh, how many dashes there are size and we're going to join them together with a slash so this is the board we also need the um, the turn the castling position the en passant and we have half move and full move okay so that's our FEN the uh, Foresight Edwards notation so we have the B the T is if the turn is white then we want colon W otherwise colon B uh, castling uh, we haven't written white yet so we will uh, castling if it's empty we want it to be a dash okay I'm trying to avoid using strings um, see otherwise is castling dot join and for en passant um, it'll just be en passant otherwise uh, a nil okay and it'll break on white so undefined method right white so let's uh, go up here to chess helper and write white okay so white of white Okay, I'm just gonna put one zero here. It's gonna be white will be one. White of black, one zero, it'll be the zero. And white of um, capital R, so it's white, so uh, that should be a one. And white of lowercase r, one zero is gonna be zero. And white of a black square is going to be, um, let's see, hmm. Okay, I'll just I'll just return nil. Okay. Um. All right. I still have to write white. Okay. Go to the top, and we write it. So white. It takes a uh, let's say a piece, and returns the white value or the black value. So case P, when it's white or rook, knight, bishop, queen, king, pawn, then it's the W value. So for this, we, okay, and make a copy of this and change this to black. And we just change the, uh, the case, and this will be the black value and we just end it okay so now we have white all right so uh, uh, we're up to the next part where the position is set up now the comparison is not working so we're, we're working on the the equality so let's go um, and write that so that would be equal equal taking other and we need to check uh, whether the class is, is the same so other class we want to check the board so um, I don't want board to be public so 
what I'll do is I, I'll put like an underscore board. So I'll create underscore board just so that we can have access to it. Um, and this will be um, at board end. Okay. And we also want pieces. So pieces at pieces end. Okay. So at board is equal to other uh, board. So this would just be at at pieces, um, actually, there should be ands here. Other pieces, okay, that should match. Um, let's see, turn, others turn. Castling, other castling. Yeah, turn castling en passant, other en passant, half move goes other, half move, full move, other, full move. All right, so this should take care of the equality. Okay, now we're uh, up to move piece. So we can actually start working on the logic of this now. Okay, so let's see. So we're trying to move a piece from uh, E4 to E2. Okay, so let's create the function first. So we have move piece, uh, actually def, and it takes a from and a to. So, okay, let's think about this. So, uh, okay, so we want to move, okay, the two square is going to be whatever was in the from square, and the from square. The reason why we're doing it this way instead of using at board is because we want the pieces uh, instance variable to be updated as well. So every time we move a piece, we also update the pieces. So this does this automatically. Okay, and that should be there. Okay, so this should move the piece. Okay, undefined method bracket for. Okay, so this time, um, see, we need to access it. So def uh, index is just um, board index. I'm not writing a test for this because it's just an act, it's just accessing uh, that variable. Um, okay, because I don't want board to be exposed. Okay, so let's see. All right, so, um, okay, the reason why is because we need to return the, uh, the position object. Okay, so let's take a look at this. The output looks, uh, the same. It looks exactly the same. But using equality, it's not equal. Okay, so that's, uh, let me see, Th then we must have done something wrong over here. So P's turn, castling, opposite, half move, full move. And the class is the same, so all these are ended together. So there's something wrong um, so let's go to the uh, equality, and I'll just put a debugging statement here. So I'll just okay. They already have the debugger. So uh, the equality. Here's the equality, and I'm going to put the debugger. Okay. So let's take a look. Uh, self class. Actually, let's see if um, self is equal to other. Oh, it says it's true. Hmm. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, okay, so now I'm here a second time. Okay, so let's see self is equal to other. It's false. All right, so let's see uh, uh, where it went wrong. So let's see the others. Um, well, let's see self. Um, okay. wonder if 2s will work. Okay, so it doesn't tell us very much. And... Um, Let's see what other looks like. Okay, so it looks the same. So let's see what the self class is equal to other class. That's true. At board equals other board. That's true. At pieces is equal to other pieces. That's false. Hmm. Let's take a look at the pieces. Um, at pieces inspect 
Okay, so um, this is a set. Actually, this is a hash with all these sets. And let's take a look at um, uh, other, actually not with the at, other pieces inspect, actually with the underscore. Oh, this is a very different set. Um, it has a, oh, interesting. The reason, um, in this case, we have a, uh, a dash here. And, oh, this is really interesting. The rook, there's something wrong with the way the uh, um, the pieces are being set up. So let's investigate. So uh, let's see how it got there. All right, so we take the debugging out. Okay, but at least this is still intact. Um, so the first one looks good. And it looks like probably the move piece is causing that problem. And um, let's see. Let's take a look at move piece. Move piece looks perfectly fine in terms of uh, the logic here. So there must be something wrong with the the, the brackets. So this one um, has no side effects, so we don't have to worry about this. But here, there is something wrong. Ah, we forgot to remove. So we have to remove um, so pieces. Um, P, actually not P, wherever it was coming from, so that would be the, um, whatever piece that was there before, so uh, board index, we need to remove it, so delete the index. Okay, so we forgot to take it out. We were putting pieces into the piece list, but we forgot to take it out when, uh, when we're moving it. And we also need to, actually, let's put this together. And at the top here, we need to set the, if it, if it doesn't exist, then it'll be an empty set. And then we'll just delete it, um, because it, it, because it may not exist, so we'll create it as an empty set. Okay, so this should work. Okay. So we still have uh, the same, looks like the same error. Uh, let's see. Yes, everything looks right. So, uh, okay, so whatever was there gets deleted and the new piece gets added. Okay, all right. So let's put the debugging statement back into the comparison. Okay. So the first one was, it passes, so this is the second one that doesn't pass. So if we, compare self with other is false. So let's take a look at the pieces now. Um, at pieces, we have this set, which is good because now we don't have a duplicate of any of the indexes. And uh, we want to take a look at other pieces, um, other underscore pieces. Oh, this is interesting. This is an empty set. Okay, so it looks like uh, the pieces um, need to, so we have empty spaces here. So um, it doesn't have the full information. So it looks like we need to do more things in the constructor. So let's take a look at the constructor. Okay, in the constructor, uh, we fall into this case when we're setting up the pieces. So we start off empty. And actually, let, let's start it off with a, this, this is not a correct setup because if the board is filled with these dashes, then the pieces should, should reflect that. So this would be um, the set of 0 through 63. So all of them 
would have would be dashes. So okay, so let's see if uh, that fixes the problem. Okay. Okay, continue. And this time, let's see if self is equal to other. And this time it's true. Okay, so it looks like we fixed the bug. And continue. Uh, actually, let's quit out of this and get rid of the debug statement, uh, debugger. All right, so everything passes. Okay, so now we're on to the next thing. So which is, uh, let's see if any of the uh, other conditions for making a move can be done. So rook on e4, let's say it tries to move the piece from e4 to d3, which is, which is not legal. Uh, then it should be nil. Uh, let's see some other cases. You can't, from a rook on e4, you can't, uh, actually, let's put a, another piece in the way, um, a, a pawn on e3. e3. So if you have a pawn on e3, you can't move from e4 to e2. You can't jump over a piece. Should be nil. Um, okay. Oop, forgot a parenthesis somewhere right here. Okay, so okay, so you can't take your own piece. So a rook on e4 and a a pawn on uh, actually I have this backwards over here. Okay, pawn on e2. I can't say e4 to e2 in this case because you can't take your own piece. All right. So okay, another condition. Um, so we have uh, an in, in, invalid move. We have um, you can't jump over a piece. You can't take your own piece. Okay. So that that takes care of of some of the illegal moves. So now let's move over to the knight. So the knight is a little bit different because um, it is allowed to jump over pieces. But first, uh, let, if you have a knight on e4 and you try to move from e4 to c3, which is a legal knight square, then that should be a knight on knight on uh, c3. So you should be able to move it there. So if you have a knight on e4 and you try to move it to an illegal position, so e4 to e5, then it should be nil. And you can also jump over pieces. So if, if I have a position with a knight on e4 and I have a pawn, uh, it doesn't matter which kind of pawn, but I'll just say my own pawn, on, uh, let's see, e, uh, d3, d4, and d5. So I have things along the way. And then I try to go to um, e4 to c3, and that should be legal. So I should have a knight on c3 at the end. Okay, so that's good for the knight. Now, let's uh, for the bishop, we'll change it around so that it, it does it for black pieces. So a lowercase b for black bishop on e4. And I try to make a, a valid move. So I, I'll go from e4 to f5. And that should give me a position with a, a bishop on f5. Okay, so now I have a bishop on e4, but I want to make an invalid move. So e4 to e5, and that should be nil. Okay, um, all right. And all the others uh, apply. You're not able to jump over pieces or take your own piece. Okay, so we got the bishop taken care of. Now we need to handle the uh, king. So if I have king on e4, a valid move would be e4 to e5. That's one square, so that should be position with the king on e5. And if I have a king on e4, and I try to move it from e4 to e6, which is a two-square jump, then I should have, then that should not be allowed. And if I have a, okay, so now, let's see, king, king. Okay, so now if I uh, work on the pawns, if I have a pawn on e2, uh, that's a rook pawn on e2, I should be able, that's e2, I should be able to move from e2 to e4, jump to, actually let's start with one squared, so I should be able to jump one squared, and that should be pawn on e3, that's the end result. But I, I'm not allowed to, 
Um, okay, I'm not allowed to jump over. Actually, um, jumping over is already taken care of. So I'm not able to move from E2 to actually one of the other things I uh, forgot to say here is that for the rook, um, I can't take my own piece, but I'm allowed to take some um, uh, my opponent's piece. So I, this is a lowercase p. So then I should be able to have the position with the rook on e2 at the end of this. Okay. So I'm able to take my own uh, take my opponent's piece, but in this case, um, uh, moving for, and a I put an opponent's piece, so I'll put like a lowercase r on e3, um, e3. Okay. So if I try to move from e2 to e3 now, this should be nil because um, because I I can't take it that way. I have to take diagonally. Okay. So from e2 to e3 and position pawn on e2 can move from e2 to e4 so you can jump two squares and you'll end up with a pawn on e4 okay so if you have a pawn on e2 and a rook on e4 now if I try to move from e2 to e4 then it should be it should not be allowed Okay, so I have pawns moving one square and two squares up. So I can't move, I can't make the pawn go backward. So if I have a pawn on e2, um, I can't, okay, I can't move the piece from e2 to e1. I can't go backwards. Okay, so let's think about another one. Uh, I can't move backwards and I can't move diagonally either. So, um, uh, if a pawn on e2 move to uh, d3 is e2 to d3 is not allowed. Okay, but it is allowed if uh, if a pawn is on e2 and let's say a rook is on d3, opponent's rook is on d3, then this is allowed. So now the pawn should be. Um, the pawn should be um, on d3. Oh, one other thing is when you're moving two squares, so let's look for the two square move. Uh, um, okay, this is not allowed. Okay, here's, here's a two square move. If you go from here to there, uh, e4 should be made, but also the en passant square should be set to e3. All right. All right. So, see if we have all the pawns moves taken care of. Um, oh, capture. Oh, we uh, we just did the capture right here. Well, capturing on passant. Okay. And uh, so we have the position with a pawn on e5 and a black pawn on f5 with en passant being on f6. So, and if I try to move from e5 to f6, that should be, that should be allowed, and you end up with um, a position with a pawn on f6, and that's it, and the black uh, pawn has disappeared. All right, so let's see if this is a, um, okay. So I got the rook, all the pieces taken care of, and the pawns uh, moving forward one square, two squares. Oh, you can't jump more than two squares. Uh, I wonder if I handled that. So the pawns are over here. So I have it moving. Um, okay, so okay, so I, I don't seem to have that. So I'll just add that here. Actually, I don't need that. So I'll just move, um, okay, that's one square, that's two squares. Okay, so I'll just add it right here. So pawn on e2, 
uh, move piece from e2 to um, e6. That's too far. And so that should be also nil. Okay, so you can't jump more than two. Um, you can't move uh, diagonally. You can't. Uh... All right. So this seems like a pretty good set. So let's let's implement this. All right. So first thing is uh, moving a rook. So it doesn't know anything about moving a rook. Uh, so let's go to move piece here. All right. So we only want to move the piece if it's valid. So the piece is whatever's in the from. So I'll just replace this with piece. And if piece valid move from two, then we want to do this. Okay. Otherwise, it's going to return nil. All right. Undefined valid move for the symbol. So. Uh, I'm not going to write test for these because for a valid move because this is basically uh, implicitly doing a test on valid move. So, um, okay, so this is going to be part of um, the class symbol. Okay, and it's going to have um, let's see, valid move with from and from and to. Okay. So let's see. Case self when it is um, a rook or rook case r, then it's going to be dx is equal to zero or dy is equal to zero. Okay. So we'll just say dx is equal to, and just write out the formula here. It's like two minus from but it's uh, mod 8 and mod 8 and two minus from, and this is the y part. So this is dx and that is dy. Okay, so let's see. All right, so we passed that point. Now we have a rook that is jumping over a piece. So we have to say uh, in move piece that the move has to be valid and the path has to be clear. Um, from um, okay from n2. One other thing that we need to do um, we're going to abort. We're going to say um, Actually, we don't do it next, but we have the assumption that this piece is not uh, empty because moving an empty square doesn't make sense. And and I'm putting this here because it's a uh, it's a short circuiting because we don't want it to go through any of this logic, which is which can get uh, expensive if um, uh, if all we need to do is just test for for this. Okay, so. Actually, that, that can probably happen from valid move because it won't be any of the choices. So I think, um, yeah, I think maybe we can get away with not doing that. It'll probably clutter things up. So we need to handle path clear. Okay, so let's write a little test for path clear. Okay, so context, path clear. And this is a uh, insist method. Okay, so... Um, Okay, so if we have a, bo a board that's already set up and we say path clear of E2 through E7, so along there, there's no pieces um, in the way. So this should be true. And path clear going sideways from E2 to B2, that should be false. Okay, a simple test. All right, let's write path clear now. from two. So we need to find the difference in the direction. So we need to find the x direction. So that would be uh, two minus from, this is the x part. Okay. And we compare that with zero. 
and so it'll be negative one. Um, so if it's negative, it'll be negative one. If it's positive, it'll be positive one, zero, and if it's zero. Okay, so um, that's the direction. And two minus from a spaceship, zero. Okay, so this will take care of the y part, but we have to multiply this by eight. Okay, so this is the direction. So we're gonna go from, uh, actually from plus d, because we, we don't wanna include from. Step it to the two, but we subtract d because we don't want to include two in steps of d. So for each of these, uh, all of the conditions must be true, which is, um, we have the index here. So should be equal to empty space. So they should all be empty. Okay, so that should be the test. And okay, so we have, actually we're, uh, we have it passing, now we're at the next test, which is rook cannot take its own piece. Okay, so the rook cannot take its own piece. So we can say here, we have the from, and uh, let's see, let's think about the ordering of this because uh, we wanna put the most expensive uh, method last. So testing the color is, is pretty simple. Testing path clear is, is, uh, can take a little bit of time because you have to step through. Um, so I'll just put it right here. So and, um, let's see, this is, uh, I just forgot about what, what it is that we're testing now. Um, oh yeah, taking its own piece. All right, so the color, um, Let's see, self, okay, so if I'm referring to it, I can probably just do board. So um, actually, I wanna stay away from using board in the rest of my code because um, this just, I don't wanna mess up the logic. So uh, self of uh, two color, should not equal piece color. Okay. Undefined method color for symbol. Okay, so we'll just do a little test over here for uh, describe symbol. So color. So if I have a dash and I say color, that should be none. And if I have an R and I say color, that should be um, white. And lowercase r color is going to be um, black. Okay. Undefined method color for symbol. Okay. So to the top symbol. Now we'll do color. So one of the problems we had for. Uh, for calculating color is that um, we never get to cache we never get to cache it so if there's a if there's one piece and we ask for its color it's lost um, after it's done and so we whenever we ask for it again we have to recalculate it so instead uh, what I'll do is I'm going to cache this and then memoize it so the color is equal to case self Okay, when it's a uh, rook, knight, bishop, queen, okay, rook, knight, bishop, queen, king, pawn, then it's going to be white. And rook, knight, bishop, queen, king, pawn, then it's black. And, uh, oh, else it is none. Okay, so now let me just fix this up. So. And fix this up so all right so let's see all right so all right so rook e2 okay
Oh, what is this? Oh, so in this case, you're taking your opponent's piece, and I think I have the logic mixed up, so let's go back here. Oh, no, it's it's correct. Um, it, it's, it's not equal to the color. Right. Okay. So what is this error saying here? It is definitely a different error. So rook on e4, and there's a black pawn on e2. So this is taking a piece. And this is not allowed. Hmm. It looks like it should be allowed. And... Oh, it's uh, actually if you if you're looking at this comparison, they look exactly the same. So there's something wrong with the way the comparison is done. So um, this is uh, very strange. So there's something. Let's see. There is definitely something wrong uh, with the comparison. Okay. All right. Hmm. So let's, let's think about. Um, let's see how it's printing it out. Let's see if there's any way that we, we can. Um, I th I think what I'll do is I'll also. At the end over here, I'm going to. Um, uh, see board turn pieces okay so uh, pieces inspect okay all right so let's see all right so let's just take a look at this okay so it's a set uh, and let me see failed okay so here's the diff so there is something wrong with the pieces. And it's surprising that it didn't catch it. Ah, okay, so I see the difference here. The difference here is that for one of them, the pawn doesn't exist, the black pawn, but it does exist over here. So, let's see, this, okay, so the comparison is actually uh, correct and um, key. Let's see. Let's take a look at the black pawn. I see. Okay. Okay. So this makes sense, and this is something that we should uh, take care of. So. Okay. So. So where's the error? It's with it's with the rook taking the pawn and it's this it's this one right here so the problem is that for this when you move the pawn the entry for the pawn exists but in this case the entry for the pawn doesn't exist at all so uh, when we're doing a comparison we're comparing against an empty set versus an entry that doesn't exist so we have to go and fix that um, the way um, we handle it. So let's see. Uh, set. So one of the ways that we can do this is make sure that the entries for all of them are, exist. So for example, in this case, when we're setting up the pieces, we have all the pieces there. So when the, um, when the pieces is being set up, uh, there's going to be an entry for all of them. The problem occurs when we're passing it in and there are missing pieces. So we should make sure that all the entries exist. So we can do that by um, running through all the pieces. So let's see. Um, all the pieces would be... Um, okay, rook, knight, rook, knight, bishop, queen, king, pawn, and then rook, knight, bishop, queen, king, pawn, and a dash. Okay, so these are all the pieces, and we'll just map it to, uh, uh, to a symbol, and uh, we could go through in each, 
and and set it. Actually, we don't even have to do an each. Um, let's see, we could. Okay, actually, we'll just turn this into a proc. So um, this will be a character. So it'll be. Okay, so we kind of convert it into a symbol. And we're just making a pair. So the first pair, this is this is what the key is going to be. The, the key is uh, those symbols. And the value is going to be an empty set. And we turn this into a hash. And that's what the pieces are. OK. But uh, it's all empty except for uh, this dash. So we, we want to say pieces of for the dash, which is the empty, is going to be the set of this. OK. Actually, we could just not include that because we don't need to do it twice. OK. So we take all the pieces and we set it, and then we handle this thing specially by saying that it's this complete set. All right. So this should handle it. Syntax error. Mm, must have gotten a bracket or something. Okay, there's too many brackets. Oh yes, curly braces. Uh, all right, so let's see. This is to end that. This is to end that. So I need a curly brace here. Oh, I think I have a curly brace. Okay, and then a bracket. Curly brace and a bracket. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, now we're talking about knights. So we passed that point. And I'm pretty sure about uh, the pieces being a uniform now. So I can remove that from, let's see, where is it? I put a um, inspect. OK, here it is. So we don't need to print it out anymore. OK. All right, so now we have a, the next error, which is knight e4. Okay, ninety four. We're and see. Okay, so, hmm. Oh, it, because it doesn't even know about the knight, right? So let's go to valid move. Valid move is all the way at the top with the symbols. All right. So when it's a knight, then um, dx dy is equal to 1, 2. OK, next error. Actually, it's the same error. Oh, so you have to sort it. All right, this is the next error. So you can't, uh, well, the knight should be able to jump over pieces. So that's part of uh, path clear. There it is, path clear. All right, so dy. All right, so we definitely know we're going to return true if it doesn't fall along the uh, the straight, which is um, vertical or horizontal, which is the uh, dx is equal to zero. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm negating it. Oh, let me just put it as a not. dx is equal to zero, or dy is equal to zero. Or if uh, doesn't lie on the same diagonal, so the test is this dy absolute value. Okay, so it's not this. All right. 
All right, so now the knight is able to jump over pieces. So we have a knight on e4, a pawn. Oh, actually, this is the same error. Uh, so, um, hmm. Oh, right. Uh, it did make the right move, but the test is wrong. Um, where's the knight? Okay, so the knight. So you have all, all of this information here, which is the pawn, the pawns don't go away. So I'm going to yank that and just put it right there. All right. Okay. Next error. We have a black bishop on e4, so we has to. It has to know how to move. So okay. So valid move. No, oh, uh, that's color. Valid move. When it's a uh, uh, bishop or black bishop, then dx is equal to ty. Okay, that's the valid test. Okay, so that passed, and actually, did it pass? Oh, uh, the test is wrong. I made a typo. So it should be f5. Okay, so now it's a king move. All right, so let's show it how to move like a king. When it's a king, then um, dx and dy we take the absolute value and we find the maximum number. And that has to be less than or equal to 1. OK. Uh, position pawn on e2. And oh. We forgot to see. Okay, for this we forgot to see position, and there's other places here too. So position and position. Okay, so the pawn on e2 goes forward one square. That's what it's saying. So I'll just make a little rule here saying. If it's a, if it's, a, I think I'll just do it separately. Uh, okay, so if it's a regular pawn, um, then actually, if I'm going to do it separately, no, I'll I'll do it together. When pawn or regular pawn, because if I do it separately, then I should have separate tests. Um, okay, so dx is zero. Okay, so that's the test of how it should move. Okay, so uh, a pawn on e2, rook on e3, I can't move it if there's a piece already there. So uh, this just tells about the movement. Okay, this is where it gets a little bit complicated because uh, I wanted the pieces to know how to move without looking at the board. Uh, so bishops move diagonally, rooks move up and down. Uh, and left and right. But a pawn, it has to know the board because it has to know whether or not there are um, uh, there are pieces blocking the way. So for now, this may be a special condition here. So let's see, valid move. We could do a valid move, but also um, have a special case for pawns um, because the pawns have some of the same properties like path clear and uh, and you can't take your own you can't take your own pieces but it has additional rules and the question is how to to handle that um, okay so I think what I'll do is uh, handle both movements and um, and put the conditions over here um, all right so let's let's uh, all right let's see so let's go back here and okay when it's a pawn okay this also has to know about the turn Actually, this is a little bit different. Um, actually, I'll just go like this. 
So the dx uh, should be 0. OK, if it's 0, then, um, OK, if it's 0, then dy, OK, uh, dy should be equal to 1, depending if you're white. Uh, and take a look at the piece. And if it's white, then you, you want to say uh, the dy is going up. Otherwise, it's going uh, down. Oops, down. OK. Or I'll just put parentheses here so that indenting works a little bit better. OK. So, or dx is equal to 0 and dy is equal to white self negative 2, 2. But there's an additional condition here that and um, the from okay, position, okay, depending on your white, if you're white or black. Um, should be this is the home row so six or one the home row all right let's see if this uh got a little bit ahead of myself writing this but uh i just want to make sure that the layout looks right so okay so let's just see it'll just pass or not okay so this is taking a piece going forward so So here, if piece is equal to pawn, um, I'll just say, I'll just put it here like this. So if the piece is either of these, then all right. So I'll okay. If it's if it's not a if it's not a pawn, then we want to be able to just do this. But if it is, then. Uh, we'll add some of these additional conditions, which is that um, uh, if it's a take, and we know if it's a take, if uh, in this case we also need um, dx and dy as well. So I, I think I was trying to avoid using extra functions that I don't need, but it looks like I do need um, a function called uh, uh, xy diff. All right, so context x, y, diff. Um, so from a, a to uh, b, three. OK, so the x part is going to be, it goes from a to b, so that's 1. And a to 3, that's minus 5. OK. Right, so that should take care of that. And x, y, diff. OK. x, y, diff. Um, so chess helper, we should move that up a little bit. Because we need to put uh, def x y diff of from two. And that's just going to be two minus from two minus from. 
All right. And this will just turn to x, y, diff from 2. Let's, OK. Just looking through to see where else I've used it. It's just x, y, diff from 2. All right, so actually the syntax are right here. Okay, so um, yeah, I need the x, y. So dx, dy is x, y diff from 2. Okay, so, so now we know it's a pawn. And if it's a pawn, then you can't, and a dx is equal to 0. Okay, so if it's dx is, this gets a little bit complicated, but we can move this off into another function if uh, if it gets too bad. So if the dx is zero, then it's not capturing. That means the two square. Um, so two should be it doesn't it should be empty. Okay, so allow it if you're going forward. And it's empty. Okay, that looks good. Um, all right. Oh, we got five instead. So did we do this backwards? Okay. Let's take a look at the two from two from. Okay. So let's take a look at the test because that looks like the test is wrong. So it's going. Oh, okay, so it is. It looks like it is supposed to be positive 5. All right. Hmm, expected, but got. So, en passant square. Um, okay, so, so when we move from E2 to E4, the en passant square was supposed to be set. So, um, let's go to the en passant square. Okay, so we put a little extra condition here to set the opposite square. So, if um, if piece is equal to um, is pawn, uh, I'll just okay. I'll say. Uh, pawn. <laughs> All right. Very convenient. Okay. So piece is it a, if the piece is a pawn then okay. And it's an en passant situation, so that means that dx is equal to 0 and absolute value. At this point we know that the um, uh, the direction should be in the right direction. Th then we place the ampersand. So ampersand. Okay. So which square is it? So depending if you're white or black. Um, if you're white, based on the piece, then um, it will be. Well, you have the two square. And if you're white, it would be minus uh, plus eight. So that's down one row. Otherwise, it's two minus eight. Actually, I'll bring out the two here and just say it's going to be eight or minus eight. Put a little spacing. All right. Uh, syntax error. So let's. Oh, we've got an end. Undefined method pawn. Okay, so we'll just create one for pawn, and uh, it's it's just going to be fairly simple. Um, uh, self is equal to capital P or 
self is equal to lowercase p. Okay, very simple. All right, next, uh, rook on e4, pawn on e2. Okay, so in this case, a rook is taking the pawn. And that should be valid. But it's not, okay. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, let's look at the error again. Rook on e4. So what could cause it to not move properly? So, well, we, we did put this if condition here, but that's only to, actually, let's just put it like this. Okay, so we set the opposite, and we say, oh, if it's not a pawn, that's what we want to say. If it's not a pawn, okay, and that, okay. All right, so we're, it looks like we're past that point, so now we have, uh, now that this is a capture, so we should also allow captures. So, let's see. For capture, uh, let's see, that would be under uh, symbol. Uh, okay, so we're also going to allow or. Okay, dx is equal to absolute value. So you can go in either direction. And, okay, might as well line this up. Okay, dy has to be in one move. Okay. Okay, so this should be allowed, this movement. Okay. Okay, so this says that um, a pawn on e2, rook on d3, and it's still not allowed. Okay, so let's take a look uh, at the other part right here. Okay, this sets the opposite. If, okay, so if it's a pawn, then Oh, oh, I, uh, this is really funny. I made a smiley face. Okay, well, I broke it now. Um, okay, so if it's dy, I mean, dx is equal to one, actually, the absolute value. If it, okay, so if it's a capture, basically, that's what it's saying. And white, okay, is negative one based on the piece. There is a bit of logic duplication here, but um, I think it's unavoidable. Um, well, well, we can figure this out, but it's only for the pawn. Okay, so dx and, well, okay, so we already know. So it's not actually duplication because we know that if it's going sideways, it has to match that pattern. Um, so we don't have to check for dy. So if it's capture and the board piece uh, on the two color should should be um, equal to, now we can't just say the colors aren't equal because it could also mean that it's a blank. So if it's white, um, See. Hmm. Actually, I, I could I could see. Uh, I'll, I'll just make other color. All right. So that would be better. So I would say piece dot other color. Okay. And see if. Uh, all right. So let's line this up a little bit better. So there's an and here. And binds closer than ors. Uh, so actually, we need to take an or. Okay, so it really parses like this. So you have the first part, and then you have the second part. 
Okay, and then we can add more if we need to. All right, so this, um, okay, this handles that situation. Uh, and there's no other color, so let's add the other color. Uh, color. We have color here, and other color, we'll just see what the logic is. So it's just reversed. Uh, I didn't want to, well, black and white. Yeah, and we also want to keep none. Um, actually, let's do it based off of color. So we have color already. So color, okay, so once we have the color, um, color is white, then we say it's black. Um, otherwise, color is black, then we say it is white. Otherwise, it's none. Okay, so this way it will... Okay, I don't like block copying. Okay, so let's see. Pawn on e5. Oh, this is en passant now. Hmm. En passant. En passant now makes things um, okay. So okay, so let's let's handle the en passant. Yeah, th I think this is the most trickiest part. Okay, so we have an or situation. Okay, so let's see. Uh, it's going diagonally. So okay, and because it's going diagonally, it knows that it's. Uh, it's a capture, so um, so because it's a capture, we say the two is equal to the en passant square. All right, I think that should take care of it. Um, okay. All right, so let's see here. There's okay. So in this case, the the problem with this is that the pawn is still there. We need to remove the pawn. Okay, and also the opposite square needs to be cleared out. So uh, this will have to be a special case. So. Um, all right. Actually, having the logic inside of the valid piece really helps out because then the logic of this can be um, uh, shortened. Uh, okay, let's, let's think about this. So, um, all right. So, Oh, yes. Um, all we need to do is just test for pawn and opposite if it's going to the opposite square. Uh, actually, we don't even have to. Actually, we do need to test this. Um, no, we don't. We don't have to test this. We could just say we could just do this. Okay, if the two square is equal to the opposite, because the uh, movement of the pawn has been restricted so we can just test this so that's a fairly easy test so um, uh, okay so this en passant is set all right this is actually should be otherwise nil so this way the en passant will get set. And if 2 is equal to en passant, um, and it's a pawn, so piece is equal to piece pawn, then we want to remove the en passant piece. So self en passant is equal to there. Okay, so this should take care of that. All right. 
So this is still the opposite situation, and the pawn is still there. Okay, pawn two equals opposite. Oh, I have it backwards. I need to set the ampersand after I use it. Okay, e4, e5. Okay, so It is still there. That is the same. And it is a pawn. And that is a dash. So it, it, it did get rid of it. But if I print it out, The pawn is still there. Unless 21, so this is 8, 16, 32. Oh, the pawn, the en passant square is in the wrong place. Uh, right. Right. En passant square is, is in the wrong place. Okay. So we need to fix the en passant. As a matter of fact, um, let's see why the test went wrong. Because uh, e4, um, okay. So where is it? Where's the setup for the pawn? Okay. Th okay. So this is the last test for this. So there's f f5, and it should have been f6 okay move f5 to x f6 and so there should just be a pawn on f6 this looks correct um, this is really interesting so I'm gonna put it see where the debugger is um, en passant so let's just try this again um, EP EP dot to square it's f6 uh, that is correct and if I do self starting from the top this is the first row second third fourth row and f6 should be right over here that's the en passant square and Oh, it's not the en passant square. It is en passant. Okay, so I, I have it in the wrong place. Okay, right. So that this is okay. Uh, it's not the en passant square. It's the en passant plus. The, if you're white, um, okay. Depending on the the piece that you're on, um, is the en passant square plus eight? Otherwise, minus eight. Okay, th this is where the pawn location is. Or you could consider this as, um, actually, let's just um, let's see, two square. Okay, all right. So that should take care of it, and everything passes. So uh, I think this is a good point to stop, and uh, in the next one I'll run through the uh, the PGN and hopefully the PGN file uh, I can do it much quicker